What is up everyone out there? My name is Rudy and this is my friend Tippy the Tripod. Today we are looking at Astroneer and we are going to prove using real science that the worlds of Astroneer are indeed round and not flat. If you are used to playing some other games, you might readily just assume that the world is flat without even really thinking about it. So how best to proceed? We should start off with a simple proposition and that is this planet is flat. And then all we have to do is disprove that notion and we'll have some evidence towards the idea that it is round. So what are we going to do? We're going to draw a giant triangle on the surface. On a flat surface, all the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, but on a curved surface, that very same triangle, the angles will add up to greater than 180 degrees. So the triangle that we draw on this world should have angles being greater than 180 degrees and then we'll know that the world is not flat. I've already tried this experiment up on the moon and the results will shock you. The world is indeed round, spoiler alerts, but we already knew that, we don't care, we're just trying to verify it experimentally because we are astro engineers and we have a deep appreciation for the scientific method and the philosophy of science. How do we know what we know? We're going to figure that out today. So. With the terrain tool, we can of course take away land, we can add land, but we can also smooth out land. And you can very easily create trenches in the landscape by destroying some land and then creating a hole, jumping in it, and then you can, uh, oh my god, I almost just, I covered this up. I, I did a lazy job of covering this. I should not even stand here on top of this resin bed because I created a huge resin hole that I covered it up without even filling it in. That's a, that's a workplace hazard. I mean, you can get fined for that type of thing, but I'm the only one here, so whatever. Maybe Tippy the tripod will have something to say about it, but... Okay, so you can use the flattening tool to create trenches or straight lines. And then we can observe these. We can draw a triangle using straight lines like so, and then we can measure the angles of each line. So let's get going. And of course we end up with tunnels when we go through mountains, so we'll come back here and we'll clear everything out. So the general plan is I'll draw this triangle out a bit of ways and I'll come back and draw another line going at 90 degrees. I'll put two beacons at either ends of the triangle and then draw an intervening line between. But of course you'll notice what is happening is I'm going up into the air. So what is happening? Are we smoothing out the land at an incline? Well, no, what's happening is the flattening tool does not know about the curvature of the planet. So we are just drawing a straight, flat surface out above the curvature of the planet. Now, isn't that amazing? Science can be mysterious that way. You set out to prove something using an experiment, and it turns out that the world behaves in such a way that your experiment reveals something completely different. Here, we are on a flat surface right now, but it looks like we're going up into the sky. That is only because, I mean, this is the same flat surface we started out. Our smoothing out tool doesn't know about the curvature of the Earth. It doesn't follow the curvature of the planet. This isn't the Earth. I, I might say Earth, but you know, by Earth, I just mean dirt, because this is just a big dirt ball. So, I suppose this kind of proves that the world is round without having to go through all the fuss of measuring angles or even needing to know about geometry. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me. But for the hell of it, let's finish drawing our triangle. Let's go out 90 degrees in this direction. Let's see, let's, uh, let's start over here. Of course, another possibility is that the planet is flat, and this behavior of the uh, flattening tool is something else entirely, but, you know, we're, we're not that crazy. We're not that out there. Whatever. Very, very nice. So, of course, once we finish drawing this entire triangle, the angles will add up to 180 degrees because the triangle is itself flat. Both my beacons have been placed. The sun has risen and we are ready to complete our triangle. There is the other beacon, here is the current beacon, and now we just need to mosey on over there and see what happens. 
but we need a filter before we suffocate to death. Excellent. Oxygen for people. And let us go. I question how accurate I could be. So the really interesting thing about this experiment is that since we know that the world is already round, we can make this determination about the behavior of the flattening tool. If we didn't know that the planet was round, if we believed it was flat, we would really have no way to know what to make of the behavior of the flattening tool like this. What is this? I can... okay, I guess we sort of did it. We didn't quite match up, but we are here. We have our triangle. Beautiful. And look at that. One thing I did not consider was that we could look at the shadows that the triangle produces and measure the angles that way. That's actually, that would be very clever. Unfortunately, our shadows look like crap. So we know the angle over there is 90 degrees. The angle over here is difficult to determine, but it seems to be almost 90 degrees. Maybe, I don't know, I can't, I can't tell. It keeps on moving on me. Okay, well there's that angle. Then if we run over here, if we sprint, of course, we're not, I don't know, we're not even projecting our shadow onto a perfectly round surface. It's all lumpy and everything. Okay, well, and there's that angle. It's cool watching these shadows move. We should make a sundial. Making a sundial would be pretty awesome. Perhaps for another episode. Well, so there you have it, my incredibly awesome space triangle that sorta didn't really prove anything, but the principle is sound. If we could draw triangles on the surface of these planets, we would no doubt determine that they are indeed round based on the angles of the triangle. There's one last thing we need to do before we finish off this episode, though. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Come on, get the rock out of the way. This is it. This is science. What's gonna happen? No, come on! Ah! <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rudy. Subscribe for more great Astroneer episodes, and I'll see you next time for more crazy things in Astroneer. Perhaps a sundial, or who knows what. Good luck with your astro-engineering.